the Akashic Records. This is all the information that's inside of you already. This is all the intent that you carry out throughout your journey when it comes to your roller coasters, your ups and downs in life, and of course, your previous life. 10 times out of 10, what can basically better help you to basically tap into these references? Look at all the past references that you basically dealt with utilizing, you know, astrology and perspectives like that, looking at your charts and using that as a reference to basically see the points of views and references that you was basically dealing with previously in your lifetime. When it comes to Akashic Records, these are just references of time sheets and timelines and events and the characteristics that you play out through your past life. Another reference to basically seeing that perspective is basically your South Node. And your South Node also ties to this to this perspective as well. But your Akashic Records, this is prefaces dealing with your subconscious, your inner world, and everything that's referring to these records that you have installed with inside of you. Now, also in this perspective, Femi, the only way for you to basically really actually tap in with these with these perspectives is replenishing and releasing everything that you was basically kind of pretty much taught as far as how they telling you to go about it and go on these ways and seeing these points of views and references. This information is basically buried inside of you already <clears throat> by default. So, in order for you to basically have a clear perspective and clear references with this, this you basically need to go ahead and start formulating, spending time towards <clears throat> emptying your mind, emptying your reactions, and emptying all the energy that you basically accumulated and, of course, combobulated. For me, once you put yourself into the prayer perspective, as far as clairvoyance, clear perspectives, you will actually be able to receive the right information, the right way about going about things. The right inputs about things and your records you would basically get most of these um experiences in your dreams and when you basically you know see your natal charts these are going to basically be the time sheets and references that you basically play out the characteristics throughout your previous lifetime so that's another way of looking at it <clears throat> but look at all the planets look at all the everything you're doing right now is basically what you've been doing your previous life previous life and so on so all the characteristics and everything included is in these sheets. It's in these time frames. So any everything that you're pretty much looking for, you already have it inside of you. You don't got to basically look or search anything up for me. Unless it's referencing towards your charts. And of course, searching with inside yourself. But all the information is basically download. And you know, spending time and energy towards prepping towards that. But your spirit always want to keep going forward. Never want to keep going backwards. Your spirit is always in search for new bodies or new references because once this mind is done it's creating another mind but it's like an inward and outward 